All right, guys, now that we have the basics of React behind us, it's time to focus on some of the topics mentioned under the advanced section in the official React documentation. Let's start with one of the more easier topics to understand. In this video, let's learn about React fragments. Fragments basically let you group a list of children elements without adding extra nodes to the DOM. Let us understand what that means with an example. In VS Code, I'm going to start off by creating a new file, fragmentdemo.js. Within the file, I'm going to use the React snippet RFCE to create a functional component. In the JSX, I will simply specify the text fragment demo. In the app component, I will include the fragment demo component. If you save the files and take a look at the browser, you should be able to see the text fragment demo. Now let's go back to the fragment demo component and add a few more elements in the JSX. Now I want to convert the text fragment demo into a heading. So I will replace the div tag with an h1 tag. Right after the heading, I want to add a simple description using a paragraph tag. This describes the fragment demo component. But when I do this, we get a red squiggly line at the closing parentheses of the return statement. And when I hover on that, you can see that it says JSX expressions must have one parent element. If you save the file and take a look at the browser, you can see that the application is broken as well. And the error message points to the same thing. Adjacent JSX elements must be wrapped in an enclosing tag. So anytime your component has to return multiple elements, you have to enclose them in a single parent element. So let's add that enclosing div tag. When I format it, you can see that we have an enclosing div tag and the h1 and the paragraph elements are contained within this enclosing div tag. If you now save the file and take a look at the browser, everything works fine. But if we inspect the element, you can notice that we have the enclosing div tag included in the DOM tree. So between the div tag from app component and the h1 tag in fragment demo component, we have an additional div tag. This is where React fragments come into picture. We can replace the enclosing div tag with React fragment and that will prevent the extra node from being added to the DOM. So all you have to do is in fragment demo component, replace this existing div tag with react.fragment. Make sure to change the closing tag as well. Now, if we save the file and go back to the browser, inspect the element, you can see that we no longer have the div tag between the app component div tag and the h1 tag. And if you go back to VS Code, you can see that we are still returning multiple elements in the JSX. All right, now let's take a look at another example where React Fragments seems much more appropriate. I'm going to create two new files. So within the components folder, table.js and columns.js. Within the table file, I'm going to use the React snippet RFCE to create a functional component. For the JSX, I'm going to replace the div tag with a table tag. And within the table, I'm going to add a tbody tag and then a tr tag to create a row of data. Within the row, I want to render columns and the columns will be maintained in a separate component, which is our columns component. 
So let's go to column.js and using the React snippet RFCE, create another functional component. Within the JSX, I'm going to add two columns. So TD, name, and another TD, Vishwas. Because we are returning multiple elements, we need the enclosing div tag. Now back in the table component, I will include the columns component. And back in app component, I will include the table component. If you now save all the files and take a look at the browser, you should be able to see the two columns, name and Vishwas. If you take a look at the console though, we have warnings. And the warning is validate DOM nesting, TD cannot appear as a child of the div tag. Basically, it is telling us that it is wrong to have a TD element as a child of a div tag. If I inspect the element, you can pretty much see that in the DOM tree, TD within the div tag. And this div tag was necessary because we were returning multiple elements in the JSX of columns component. But hey, now we have the better alternative. We can replace this div tag with react.fragment. So I'm going to go back to VS Code and in columns component, I'm going to replace the div tag with react.fragment. If you now go back to the browser, you can see that all console warnings have disappeared. If we inspect the element, you can see that we have the table tag, tbody, tr, and then td. There is no div tag in between. The final point on fragments is that it can accept the key attribute when rendering lists of items. For example, let's assume we have an array of items stored in a variable called items. Then we could have items.map and then we have an arrow function. The parameter is item. And the function can return a React fragment. Because items in a list need the key prop though, we can specify the key attribute on React fragment. Key is equal to, let's say, item.id. And within the JSX, we can have multiple elements being returned. Let's say a heading that says title, and then a paragraph tag that renders item.title. This is completely possible. As of this recording, key attribute is the only attribute that can be passed to a React fragment. The React team hopes to add additional attributes in the future, but for now, keep in mind to pass in only the key attribute. Now there is also a shorthand syntax that you can use for React fragments. Instead of react.fragment, you can use an empty opening tag and an empty closing tag. I will get rid of this items rendering. And now I can replace react.fragment with an empty opening tag and an empty closing tag. This basically represents the idea that it won't add an actual element to the DOM. If you do use this shorthand syntax though, there is one limitation. You cannot pass in the key attribute. So let's save this and take a look at the browser and you should still see name and Vishwas, the two columns we have specified. So that is about React fragments. Fragments let you group a list of children elements without adding extra nodes to the DOM. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.